Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on vector calculus. In the first video, we saw all the basics on vector algebra, what we studied in our school. We just recall what is mean by a scalar, what is mean by vector, scalar product, vector product, angle between two vectors, all these things. Then we started learning what is mean by del, the Hamiltonian operator or a vector differential operator. From the del, I can do three things. I can multiply the scalar. It is known as del phi, that is gradient. Then if I take a vector function, I can do the dot product. It is known as divergence of a vector. If I take a vector f, if I do a dot product with del, it is going to be curl of a vector function. Now in today's session, we are going to solve some problems on gradient. If I take a scalar phi of x comma y comma z, then the gradient of phi is defined as del phi. How can I represent? Del phi is going to be i vector dou phi by dou x plus j vector dou phi by dou y plus k vector dou phi by dou z. So we can simply call this as del phi or grade phi or gradient of phi. It is very important to note since phi is a scalar, del phi is always a vector because del is a vector. When I multiply a scalar with a vector, obviously the output is going to be a vector. So gradient of a scalar point function is always a vector point. Thus del phi is defines a vector field. So if you take any scalar function phi of x comma y comma z then if you find del phi, del phi is always going to be a vector field. Now let us go into the problems. Find grade phi for a given function f. Find grade phi for a given function phi at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. At first, let us write what is del phi and phi and then we can solve the problem. Step 1, I am going to write what is del phi. Del phi is my grade phi, that is gradient phi. So del phi is equal to dou phi by dou x i vector plus dou phi by dou y j vector plus dou phi by dou z k vector. My step 1 gets over. So if you write step by step, we can easily identify what is our requirement. So I need dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z from the given function phi. Step 2, I am going to make it as a table. First, write the phi and then the given point. Phi is 3x square y minus y cube z square and the point is going to be 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. So my job is to find dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y and finally dou phi by dou z. After that I have to substitute the values of x, y, z as 1 minus 2 and 1. Now differentiating phi partially with respect to x, first term 3y is constant, x square differentiation is 2x, that is going to be 6xy, second term there is no x, it is going to be 0. Next, I want to find dou phi by dou y. 3x square is constant. Differentiation of y partially with respect to y is 1. And y cube is 3y square z square. Next, dou phi by dou z. The first term does not have z, it is going to be 0. Second term, y cube is constant. z square differentiation is 2z. So, minus 2y cube z. Now, we have to substitute the values of x and y here. So, 6 into x value is 1 y value is minus 2, that is going to be minus 12. Similarly, dou phi by dou y, if I substitute 3 into 1 square, minus 3 into minus 2 whole square, into 1 square. Simplifying this, we will be getting minus 9. Next, similarly, dou phi by dou z, minus 2 into minus 2 whole cube, into 1. So, my answer is going to be 16. Therefore, we found dou phi by dou x, dou phi by dou y, dou phi by dou z at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. Now we have to substitute in del phi formula at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1. It is going to be minus 12 i vector minus 9 j vector plus 16 k vector. Hope you understand student how to find the gradient for the given scalar point function phi. Let us go into the next problem. Unit normal to the surface. Do you remember students? In school days we learned a cap. It's going to be the unit normal vector. Suppose I am taking a is my given vector a1 i vector. I am taking my a vector as a1 i vector, a2 j vector, a3 k vector. 
then modulus of a vector is going to be square root of a1 square a2 square and a3 square now you remember how to find unit normal vector the same thing here phi is given to us phi is a scalar now if i use the vector differential operator del phi that is great phi it is going to be a vector now i am going to find modulus of del phi so now obviously you would have guessed what is mean by unit normal n cap is the unit normal it is going to be del phi by mod del phi so for a given problem take the scalar find the vector that is gradient del phi and find modulus of del phi then unit normal is going to be del phi divided by mod del phi so for simplicity i am not taking a different problem i am going to take the same problem which we took in the example 1 so as usual step 1 i am going to write del phi step 2 we have to find do phi by do x do phi by do y do phi by do z since it is the same problem i am just getting the display from problem 1 now we know our del phi is going to be minus 12i vector minus 9j vector plus 16k vector step 4 we are going to find the unit normal n cap is going to be del phi divided by modulus of del phi our del phi at the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 is this so we have to find modulus of del phi so when we take modulus always the negative is going to be get squared so minus 12 square plus minus 9 square plus 16 square if some student get confused you don't want to worry just neglect the minus use your calculator find 12 square 9 square 16 square and then add it finally take the square root because the negative is obviously going to be positive when you square it so when you do this our answer is going to be square root of 481 don't, don't want to simplify this so del phi by mod del phi is my n cap so let us write the numerator and denominator this is my unit normal to the given surface phi hope you understand the next question find the maximal value of the directional derivative so directional derivative we are going to solve in the next problem whenever you see the greatest value or the maximum value or maximal value this is going to be the extra information i don't want need it so the maximum value can be found by finding modulus of del phi so i took the same problem which i used in problem 1 so from problem 1 we have del phi is going to be minus 12i vector minus 9j vector plus 16k vector just now for unit normal vector we found the modulus of del phi that is going to be square root of 481 therefore the maximal value for the directional derivative is square root of 481 done next if they don't ask maximum value if they tell simply find the directional derivative in this case what you have to do let us see in the next example find the directional derivative of the same function which is given in problem 1 first we have to know the formula for this find del phi and they give a direction take this as a vector find the a vector and then modulus of a vector so the dot product between del phi and a vector by mod a vector will give you the directional derivative so step 1 write the formula del phi and step 2 as usual the table step 3 find del phi that we already did in problem 1 and step 4 we are going to find the directional derivative for this we have to write a vector then mod a vector is going to 2 square plus minus 1 square plus 1 square so 4 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be 6 therefore my modulus of a vector is root 6 next we have to find a vector by mod a vector so it is going to be very easy 1 by root 6 you have to write the a vector 2i vector minus j vector plus k vector now we have to find the directional derivative we know the formula dd is equal to del phi dot a vector by mod a vector so 1 by root 6 we have to write del phi and a vector both we have found from our previous steps therefore del phi dot a vector by mod a vector is this now we have to do the 
dot product. So minus 12 into 2, then minus 9 into minus 1, and finally 16 into 1. When we do the dot product, we know i dot i, j dot j, k dot k are 1. All the remaining combinations are 0. So we get 1 by root 6 minus 12 into 2 minus 24 minus 9 into 9 plus 9 plus 16. So we get 1 by root 6. Therefore, the directional derivative is 1 by root 6. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.